So we're going to continue with Ayane now. I love how they're using the same sounds though. She infiltrates the freedom survive with her half for the Wait, she infiltrates it? I thought, was she not just asked to, to go there with Hayate? I mean, you think, you think, at the very least, uh, Hayate could just say, Look, she's with me, she's my bodyguard. Ayane, it's up to you. Wait, you, are you serious? You, you absolute. Okay, that looks stupid, and you're a complete mongoloid fuck for thinking that sending Ayane after Kasumi is a good idea. You know what she's like. That nothing to find Project Alpha for my sake and yours. By the way, you and your associates wouldn't be interested in entering a tournament, would you? Tournament? It's for publicity. Doetech has a new leader, a new direction, which we need to announce to the world. I'm not sure how so, another tournament's going to help. In the fifth dead or alive tournament. Just as my father would have done. But what's saying Douglas holding the Thomas fire in the first place anyway? Not interested. Because that could only have been held for, for corrupt by corrupt people for corrupt reasons. You know? So and like Fame Douglas was like palling around with Rido. And by the way, Rido's back in this game. Only in only in last round as a, a cyborg. And it's fucking stupid. But they brought him back. I don't know why they did that, but they did. And yeah, uh -huh. what the? What are you doing yeah, they brought him back as a cyborg. Is Stupid. Is I mean, is Hayate with you too? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, it's an odd way to be introduced to Hit Hitomi if you've never seen her before. Hey, are you out here training for it too? The hair physics are better. Give him that much. No Yeah, she's just out here. Yeah, this is actually one of the outfits you can have in the game. Whoa, I don't even know what move I was doing then. Some kind of like stepping away move. Okay. Some, some fights get, get really tough later on. Which you could look at and say that the, the, basically the uh, either the tougher fights or the weaker characters are the ones you play as later. So the ones you have the ones that I have harder time with, they're just the weaker characters. Ooh, that was close. You did good though, and she's covered in dirt, as you can see. Don't make me laugh. But yeah, n none of the DLC characters actually are part of the story. It's that Marie Rosa mentioned, Rido, the new character, the other new characters like. The girl version of Tengu, hey, they're not relevant. You cut it out already? Oh, yeah, on. Elliot's got an American accent. Let me handle this. Well, hey, lady. <laughs> that comes off. Get away from but at least she's eight. At least this one's eighteen. You know how he is. Sorry, Ayane. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Cause she did. She did, she meets both these in dimensions. Actually, I'm entering the tournament. Hey, are you gonna about that? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, I challenge you. She meets. She meets them both during the D Way Three section. I, I basically what, what Brad Wong does to uh, Kokoro. That whole scene is basically uh, replaced with a similar one. We does that to uh, Ayane and Hayate. Is like, I think he plays Hayate to defend her honor or some shit. And she she meets Elliot when he's uh, training with Gen Fuder in DOA three, and then she then she slaps him. Is that the only time? It's, um, it's one of the, the two times a slap is in, happens in the game, and Ayane is not the one on the receiving end because she gets slapped a few times, and that one time she gets slapped and tries to kill herself. But yeah, these all these fights are completely pointless, but at least the game doesn't prattle on and on with it. Uh -huh. Stop right there, little girl. What are you doing? Let me through. Okay. Well, really, if Kasumi just teleported away, there's no reason Ayane can't teleport away as well. I mean, you'd think that'd be a thing she could do, but apparently not. Boom. Ah! 
Fork. Oh, come on. I, th I think this is one of those infinite looping ones, like the uh, the Mountainside on in a uh, three. But well, Mountainside actually has uh, come back in five Ultimate. I wish they wouldn't do loads of re-releases, honestly. Oh, is that that's? Yeah, your outfit's not camo pattern. It's actually got snow on it. And so, at the end of this, Ayane has achieved nothing. Good job. Oh, Kokoro, yeah. DOA tournament announcement. And she has glasses, apparently. And, yet, and she's going... I, th I think she's either in college or going through college entrance exams. Uh, yeah, so she did definitely meet Eleanor during uh, DOA 4. And she wants to know more about it. She never got any answers in DOAX2, apparently. So you might as well just dis discount DOAX2 entirely. I mean, it did have Zack get like, saved by aliens, so... Yeah. So... They really should have subtitles underneath, Eleanor. Because she won't be speaking Japanese realistically. <laughs> Yeah, th this. Yeah, she's from uh, Kyoto. What the hell are you thinking? You're gonna get yourself killed. Yeah, and so th this is a. Uh... Wait, Kokoro. Kokoro, is that you? So she she knows her. Oh yeah, she knows Kokoro's mother because she works for Dotec. Oh shit! I shouldn't have mentioned that. That uh, Kokoro's mother works for Dotec. Well, well, she she was one of Fame Douglas's um, mistresses, so I guess it's okay. I think different characters have different inputs for the big slam moves. Okay, that's a taunt button. That's definitely not the right one to use. It's weird that it's not giving me any, any of those uh, bonus objectives, because it did that in the original DOAX 5. I don't know if they removed them or summit. Or if you have to turn them on in the options menu or summit. But it's like, it'd be like, like it was stuff like uh, beat the opponent with, a ch with a, like, the big charge blow. Um, or beat him with a throw, or do a certain number of a certain time for attack, stuff like that. Is your mother? I mean, Miyako, okay? Is she here with you in Tokyo? Yeah. Yes, she's here. She's what the fuck is he up to? Oh, you, you do see the scene. I think it's during Zack's chapter. Zack is such a tool. Uh, yeah. Oh look, she's got her um, outfit from DOA4. It's not a default though, in this. Look, it's Jan Lee dressed as Bruce Lee, and he's sweating already. Hey. Hmm? Here. <laughs> God, if, if it managed to hit that with enough, badly enough to smash it, Obviously, he was a mile off with his aim. All right, let's do this. It's so nice to meet you. But I, I do like the fact that, that they did that. They, they, they put that bit in. It's like a little nod to the DOA 4 one. I'm not sure if it's. I'm not sure if there was like multiple tears in this one. You might have to knock him out the window. Oh yeah, I, I think you can actually. I think it knocks him into like. Um, another, yep. Oh 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 oh, jeez. I have to feel sorry for this guy after after a blow like that. Yep. Well, I'm glad the story mode at least doesn't force you to have two rounds. I hate when games do that. It's like you have to have a certain number of rounds. But Soul Calibur 5 was worst. That was like, no, you have to have th like best three, best three out of five. It's like, fuck you. Oh, yeah. I thought this is a, a default. The outfit that was in DOA 4, but you couldn't actually use it, is only used for the opening scene. See, I love outfits like that. They're just, they're just so elegant and beautiful. So it's good that they made, that they made an outfit like this a default with uh, Dimensions of 5. So what's the point of this scene then? Now, you might not be familiar with, if you're not familiar with Final Fantasy, looking at this and saying, what? 
Yeah, this is Akira Yuki, the protagonist of Virtua Fighter. And you can probably tell that he's, um, the voice clips are really low quality. And it's just his Japanese voice actor. Because all the voice clips he has were just taken right from, deal from, from Virtua Fighter 5. Yeah, so these two are here because they have the same martial art. Yeah, you, you can't get him to speak in English at all. Which is dumb. I don't know why they didn't just redo the voice voices. But yeah. The, the, whole, the deal with this is that, um, basically, publishing a game in Europe is very expensive because of all the different uh, different languages you have to translate it to, all the different places you need to get it uh, approved by and such. All sorts of stuff. Um... And of course, like different countries that might need to turn level of censorship, like Germany is very bad for that. So basically, a deal was worked out that between uh, Koei Tecmo and uh, Sega, Sega would publish the game in Europe in return for uh, putting in some stuff, some of a Virtua Fighter. And so we have Akira. Uh, I'm not really fond of, fond of uh, Akira's moveset, honestly. Look at Zack. Huh? Sure I'm not sure what he's on about. I think he might be like... I don't think it's 10 years since the previous Virtua Fighter. I don't... It might be like since, since Virtua Fighter debuted or something like that. But yeah, that was kind of one of the most pointless chapters in the story. 